Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to everybody that continues to support my channel. Whether new or an existing subscriber, guys, your support is greatly appreciated. Today, we are tackling the wall in my office, just the one wall that um, I've had like the biggest, ugliest era, I guess you can say, hidden behind a massive picture. And I finally said, nope. I need to make this space a little bit more uh, pleasant <laughs> and feel a little better. So that wall was an eyesore because having that big picture kind of made me have to work around it. And the idea that I have for the wall, it, the picture needs to be gone. So here is that horrible part. I don't know. I was painting this a couple years back and the wall started to strip and it created a big hole and then I had to plaster it and it wasn't staying and it was such a nightmare and this was the best that I got it so I can't paint over it because it's not going to work so I decided to wallpaper couldn't find my brush so I'm using a sponge and this is a wallpaper that I chose it's not my favorite but it will do it was the only one that I can see and I got it from Home Depot if I can find it I'll link it but it was under 45 and then I've been using this clear wall covering adhesive for my wallpaper for years absolutely love it so here I am with my <laughs> with my sponge guys you have to improvise sometimes listen it was later in the evening and I was like I am not waiting until tomorrow i'm putting this up now um so that's what i'm doing here i'm just putting the adhesive on the wall now you can either put it on the wall or you can put it on the actual back of the wallpaper i find on the wall it gives me just a lot more control and the wallpaper is not sticking all over the place so that's just a technique that i use but for me it's like listen Whatever works for you, works for you. I don't want to say that there's a particular way you have to hang wallpaper. Um, but yeah, this works for me perfectly fine. And uh, I actually ended up only using one roll of the wallpaper, which I was pretty happy with. This is just a close-up here. I did my best to line it up. Again, it wasn't my favorite because of how the blocks were. And in order to save paper, I didn't want to just be cutting stuff in half and you know just trying to match it there's going to be shelves over top of this anyways so my main focus was getting it up getting it visually appealing and also just making sure that the sides were sealed really well so that there was no lifting in the middle or splitting um, so that was my main goal I wasn't really too like crazy about making sure everything was lined up perfectly uh, this is what it's looking like we're getting to the halfway point and i actually like it i was pretty excited when i stepped back and looked at it i was like okay now i can see my vision and this is where i started to really fall in love with the wallpaper you know sometimes you get something and you're just like oh i don't know but then when you put it up it really does hit different i still have to you know cut off the excess wallpaper on the bottom and i can see a little bit of imperfections but um it's not anything that's crazy. The most questions I get asked is normally how I do my light switch and my um, the plug area and how I get it to look so neat. So this is just how I do it. Just cut a little hole, cut around it, and that's it. Put on the covering, screw it in, and you're good to go. So I start off small and then I kind of work my way around because it's always easier to go bigger than it is to just cut a massive piece and then I have to go smaller so that's how I did that it worked out great and I absolutely love how neat it looks I know the process of my office is taking a little bit long but that's because I don't want to rush it and I want to make sure that everything I do reflects exactly what I have planned and I have everything that I want no matter how long it takes for me to get it this is a brand of the wallpaper that I used and it is the paintable one so you can actually paint over top of this wallpaper you'll still have the texture and you can change it to whatever color you like this is the end result for now keep watching for more office updates and I'll see you in the next video